Huawei's chief financial officer Meng Wanzhou suffered a major blow in her court fight in Canada. But her lawyers have raised new arguments to fight against her extradition to the U.S. They say the evidence used against her is misleading and was even manipulated. Mom, the daughter of Huawei's founder Ren Zhenfei, has been charged with bank fraud and accused of deceiving HSBC about Huawei's business in Iran. In 2013, Mom gave a PowerPoint presentation to an HSBC banker in Hong Kong. That document later was cited as the only evidence against Mom. Now her lawyers say two pieces of information was missing in the U.S. summary of document. One on Huawei's relationship with its Iranian partner Skycom, the other on the company conducting normal business in Iran. This information would be crucial to prove that Meng Wanzhou did not lie to HSBC. Now the question is, how did it go missing? And why did HSBC turn over that document to the U.S.? According to Reuters, in late 2016, HSBC conducted an internal investigation into Huawei as part of a deal it made with the U.S. Department of Justice. Back in 2012, HSBC faced charges against its misconduct, including money laundering for Mexican drug cartels and flouting U.S. sanctions. Later, those charges were dropped. Instead, the bank paid a $1.9 billion fine to the U.S. authorities and entered into an agreement the deal includes cooperating with the department on any investigations. Remember, HSBC processed hundreds of millions in cash for the most powerful and deadly drug cartel in the world. This type of criminal conduct would almost certainly cost its U.S. license and threaten its future. But what happened instead was the bank wasn't even taken to court. Is that a coincidence? Probably not. HSBC is the largest bank in Europe Nearly 80% of its profits come from China. Its growth has been primarily in Hong Kong, Asia's financial center. Former Hong Kong chief executive Liang Chunying recently warned people, especially government officials, to stop using HSBC accounts. He said they should protect themselves immediately and avoid becoming hostages like Huawei. Meng Wanzhou the case of Meng Wanzhou is a serious political incident which fully exposes the political plotting of the United States to deliberately suppress Chinese high-tech enterprises in Huawei. But how did Huawei become a target of the United States? Founded in 1987, Huawei is the world's largest maker of telecom equipment. Its revenues exceed $100 billion. Since 2014, it has outgrown all its competitors, reaching over 3 billion people. Huawei's success is not a miracle. Behind its dominance in 5G is its strong research and development. According to Bloomberg, the Chinese tech giant's expenditures on R&D reached over $58 billion between 2014 to 2018, Apple $50 billion. And in terms of percentage of R&D to revenue, Huawei ranked number two in the world, Apple number five. This is why Huawei is ahead and is why it's being attacked. The tech company is at the forefront of innovation, but the U.S. is trying to cripple its performance and drag the company into a tech cold war. U.S. President Donald Trump called Huawei very dangerous. His former chief strategist Steve Bannon even said destroying Huawei is 10 times more important than striking a trade deal with China. I think Huawei is essentially a dirty bomb inside industri industrial democracies. Look, we have met the enemy, and it is Huawei, and it is China. Make no doubt about that. It's ironic. A country that used to champion the idea of competition is now using dirty tricks and foul play to get an advantage. It can't tolerate the idea of any country producing innovation better than its own. And all of this is carried out under the guise of justice.